Hi everyone. I thought this was worth pointing out as it's a problem that I've had and it's related to demand. So it's probably quite a familiar setup. So we're, we're feeding a pasture with all the necessary materials so that we can produce beef and uh, raw beef and raw chicken. Now where I've had an issue is where kitchens are requiring multiple ingredients and uh, say you could have the chicken for sandwiches and beef just say for argument's sake on its own but we want to produce that from one pasture. Now what tends to happen is that uh, the pasture wants to produce the raw chicken because that takes two animal feed and tends to ignore the beef which takes four. Now when you first start it off everything works fine but as soon as one kitchen is waiting, say in this case if this was making sandwiches or waiting for, for flour to make bread, you start getting hold ups on one line or the other so it can be a little problematic and it doesn't always raise its head immediately. So basically I've set this pasture up to feed this kitchen with beef and this kitchen uh, with uh, with chicken. So I wanted to come up with a method to make sure that I was always have a certain amount of beef in this kitchen and it would stop the production of the chicken. Unfortunately the only thing that I haven't been able to avoid is that you have to have maximum output of both the beef and uh, the chicken. It will, it will want to tend to fill up with the chicken to full if it can possibly do that over the beef but it, it's something that works. So the way to do that is to use the compute blocks. There's quite a few to play with and I've only just started looking into this. I thought this problem I was having, I can't be the only one that's having issues like this. So I'm just going to use the math block and the inventory sense for now. There may be a fancy way to do it with maths and various things, but being a PHP coder, um, I've come up with my own solution, which is slightly problematic because uh, the compute blocks don't have an else command. So if it did have that, I'd been, been quite easy to do. Um, well, it is quite easy once you know how to do it. So the first thing to do is put an inventory sensor in. So your offset basically is to select a destination. So in this case, I want this beef kitchen. And I want it to filter beef. So then we add a math block and what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that if there is less than 10 beef, raw beef in that kitchen, then to prioritise beef. So we're linked to that kitchen and we need then to link the math block to the beef grabber. Notice that they're both off at the moment. And then link the inventory sensor to the math block. So effectively what that's going to do now is while there is there's less than 10 raw beef in the kitchen then this grabber will turn on and it will provide beef to this kitchen. So then what we need to do is we need to take another inventory sensor, link it to the kitchen again and filter it for raw beef. Add another math block 
but this time we want to say greater than or equal to 10. So we'll link there and we're going to link this one to the chicken grabber and link that to there like that. So now what should happen is that when there's 10 beef in this kitchen it will cook it to start with so you have the maximum output of 10 now the maximum input is 20 so what's likely to have happen is because of the length of the conveyor belts you're going to actually get more than 10 in there but having tested this this will be about 11 or something like that but it doesn't matter it's um, you could tweak the numbers to to get exactly what you want so both of these are off so if we unpause it nothing happens we need to turn this grabber on and that will start to feed this kitchen with raw beef and then it will start to cook it you can see them pulsing they're working and then when we get the maximum 10 output of beef and then 10 raw beef the, the chicken will kick in so we're maintaining beef production at all times we're always going to have beef going into that kitchen that's our priority so as it adds up come on nearly there So there's number 10 going in and you notice this is a spare one and the chicken kicks in. Now I don't have any output as such so it's just the stock of what you've got. But we can test that this works if I remove the beef, the chicken turns off and the beef starts again. So that's a, a simple way once you can figure it out it's not too difficult it's the main problem is actually getting the links right and figuring out what the grabbers needing to be on and off at the start but once you figured that out I think that's a, a really useful method for uh, prioritizing production in this case from a pasture but you could do it theoretically from any building so I hope that you find that useful and um, I'll see you later